Hi guys, I'm Amarjit here. Here we are going to create a webdin pro application that uses Adobe Interactive Form. So we are going to create the Adobe Interactive Form form and demonstrate the same in the webdin pro application. So go with the SAP Easy Access screen. Go with the transaction SC80 uh, to the object navigator. So uh, we are at the Adobe uh, ABAP development workbench. Uh, create a webdin pro component set the Adobe OP1. Press enter. Uh, click on yes. So give the description same as the name. Press on enter. Save it in the local object itself. And uh, expand the view you can see the main view over here double click on the main view you reach the layout tab click on the context tab with the change mode and here uh, right click on the context and create a node uh, name it as update data and give a uh, dictionary structure set uh, str of the data which I created for this particular application single tone you select yes click on add attribute from the structure so you can see all the uh, fields available on that particular structure that I created and activated for this uh, uh, demonstration select all the fields press enter create one more attribute uh, create click on create attribute uh, name it as PDF source which is of type X string. Press on enter and save it. So come back to the layout, right click on the root element container and insert element. Name it uh, Adobe which is of type interactive form. Drop, drop down the list you can find uh, interactive form. Perfect. Center. <coughs> now you can see uh, one checkbox over here. Just click on enable. This will make enable the Adobe Interactive Form. Change the height to uh, some 500 pixels. If you want, you can change the width also. Uh, this is now 300 pixel. You can change it to some 900 pixels. So it looks good. Change it. So PDF source you just bind the value uh, to the PDF source from the context and uh, change the template source to uh, set it up 0 uh, op1 the same name of our application double click on it give the name of uh, interface set it up op int press on the click on the context and uh, double click on the update data save it in the local objects yes so now we reach uh, uh, reach to the Adobe uh, interactive form designer for this you must install uh, Adobe Lifecycle 8.0 or higher version so click on that data view uh, you can see all the fields available drag and drop from the left side to the right side all the fields that you need in the output list uh, the uh, product ID all the required items from the left side to the right side product ID the quantity and uh, value okay how we are done with the fields now uh, go to the library uh, tab there you can see the active activex with the intro activex components so from that you can drag and drop the submit button to the very last here so here you can see the javascripts 
automatically automatically created over here save it and activate or oh, some error layout type unknown click on the properties go with the layout type unknown to ZCI layout save it and activate it perfect now go back to the webdin pro application uh, go to the on submit create on submit create an action click uh, from submit from adobe presenter and double click on the uh, click so we will be reaching the method on submit click on action so uh, click so here we write the codes and navigate from context to node of c that I importing static attribute SQL data perfect now go with the change mode uh, to the display mode and put the breakpoint over uh, node of the data uh, node of the data and create a uh, webdin pro application right click on set it up of the one create uh, web intro application give the description presenter so you can see the URL over here save it in the local file and act check uh, and test it so the browser gets started so you can see the output interactive uh, form over here so fill fill up with uh, uh, values desired values you can fill here and product diary PRO PROD1 quantity tan LMEA tan click on the submit so we'll be reaching the breakpoint here you you can see str opti data one variable double click on it uh, the variable double click on it so you can see all the components fields here and the values we entered in the uh, browser are here so you can use this data from Adobe's in uh, uh, above web dentro now so we can call the puppy or store in that table or whatever we can do with this want to do we can do with this particular data so thanks for the thanks for watching this video tutorial we'll meet we'll see you in the next